Georgia. Let's talk about persistent challenges you both faced in your first terms and you'd certainly face again in a second term. President Biden, while black unemployment dropped to a record low under your presidency, black families still earned far less than white families. Black mothers are still three times more likely to die from pregnancy-related causes, and black Americans are imprisoned at five times the rate of white Americans. What do you say to black voters who are disappointed that you haven't made more progress? They acknowledge they made a lot of progress, number one. The fact of the matter is there's more small black businesses that have been started than any time in history. Number two, the wages of black, their black unemployment is the lowest level it's been in a long, long time. Number three, we find them providing find housing for black Americans and dealing with the segregation that exists among these corporate these corporate operations that collude to keep uh, people out of their houses. And in, in addition to that, we find that the impact of on the, the choice that black families have to make relative to child care is incre incredibly difficult. When we did the first major piece of legislation in the past, I was able to reduce black child care costs. I cut them in half in half. We've got to make sure we provide for child care costs. We've got to make sure, we, because when you provide those child care protections, you in, increase economic growth because more people can be in the, in the job market. So there's more to be done, considerably more to be done. But we've done a great deal so far, and I'm not letting up, and they know it. You have 49 seconds left. What do you say to black voters who are disappointed with the progress so far? I say I don't blame them for being disappointed. Inflation is still hurting them badly. For example, I provided for the idea that any black family first time home buyer should get a $10,000 tax credit to be able to buy their first home so they can get started. I made sure that we're in a situation where all those black families and those black individuals who provided had to take out student loans that were ballooning that if they were engaged in nursing, doctor, and any, anything having to do with volunteerism, if they paid their bills for 10 years on their student debt, all the rest is forgiven after 10 years. Millions have benefited from that. And we're going to do a whole lot more for black families. Thank you, President Trump. And he caused the inflation. He's blaming inflation. And he's right, it's been very bad. He caused the inflation, and it's killing black families and Hispanic families and just about everybody. It's killing people. They can't buy groceries anymore. They can't. You look at the cost of food where it's doubled and tripled and quadrupled. They can't live. They're not living anymore. He caused this inflation. I gave him a country with no, essentially no inflation. It was perfect. It was so good. All he had to do is leave it alone. He destroyed it with his Green News scam and all of the other, all this money that's being thrown out the window. He caused inflation. As sure as you're sitting there, the fact is that his big kill on the black people is the millions of people that he's allowed to come in through the border. They're taking black jobs now, and it could be 18, it could be 19, and even 20 million people. They're taking black jobs, and they're taking Hispanic jobs, and you haven't seen it yet, but you're going to see something that's going to be the worst in our history. Thank you. President Biden? There was no inflation when I became president. You know why? The economy was flat on its back. 15% unemployment. He decimated the economy, absolutely decimated the economy. That's why there was no inflation at the time. There were no jobs. We provided thousands and millions of jobs for individuals who were in all communities, including minority communities. We made sure that they have health insurance. We have covered, we've, the ACA has increased. I made sure that there are $8,000 per person in a family to get written off for health care. But this guy wants to eliminate that. They tried 50 times. He wants to get rid of the ACA again. And they're going to try again if they win. We find ourselves in a position where the idea that we're not doing any, I put more, we put more police on the street than any administration has. He wants to cut the cops. We're providing for equity, equity and making sure people have a shot to make it. There's a lot going on, but in inflation, he caused it by his tremendous malfeasance in the way he handled the pandemic.